Hello everybody. <coughs> I'm gonna start with the beer. Uh, free day tomorrow, so just gonna crack up this beer. Cheers. Really nice. Uh, as you can see, got my um, Iverana G nut. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone in my opinion. I'll put it that way. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do something. This is uh, SSO Eskeskuna uh, 6 8 razor. Uh, it's a sharp razor, as you can see. When I, yeah, you can see it. I just have to check the camera. It cuts on the tomato without no issues. And I'm gonna try to do the thing we talked about last time I did a video, morning with the video. I used two stones, but I see if I can manage to get the edge on this uh, only by using this uh, Ivor and a G nut. So I'm killing the edge very gently. Very, very gently over that, so you can see it doesn't cut. So now is the question, can I emerge uh, edge by only using this G knot uh, or only using one stone? <clears throat> so let's build up a slurry and start to hone and see if that's possible. I have done this thing with the other G knot I had, um, the Shuba Saki G knot that I still have. <laughs> I've been loaning it to Dave Card. So with that stone I have tried actually, I used two types of slurry stones and um, I uh, managed to get a really nice edge by using just one stone. The idea of doing this or trying this with you is that uh, if you're a new straight racer shaver you'll have maybe one or two straight racers three or four straight racers and you thinking about starting to hone of course when you look at stones it's very expensive it's really expensive to buy five six seven stones maybe not six but four five six stones and uh, if you don't hone so much, I'm just collecting that slur. I don't know, I always do it this way. <laughs> Looks a little bit strange. And now I have to get some more towel under there because it's not even this table. <coughs> yeah, it's very expensive to buy all these stones. Uh, so I know I wanted to hone old vintage races when I buy, but if you don't want to buy old vintage races and hone, you definitely don't have to have do bevel settings and so on. So if you have a straight racer that is already honed probably from another honer <clears throat> and it works, and you just want to refresh these races you have or these these edges, then you should shouldn't have to buy several stones and spend money on that. But if you want to learn home properly and you know you're gonna use some vintage races sometimes and you're gonna <coughs> need to hone them up, you need at least three or four stones. Yeah, because you have to correct the angle sometimes on the race, or you have to correct the spine and you correct the edge. There are often some issues with the edge or with the spine, so you have to correct it with uh, 1000 grit stone, or 3000 grit stone, or maybe 5000 grit stone, <clears throat> and do the bevel set properly, and then work with finer and finer stones. But if you all have a straight razor, you know it's working and it starts to get dull. You have maybe trying to use paste on it and so on, and it still feels a little bit dull. You may be thinking of sending it away to a honer, or thinking that maybe I should try to hone myself. Uh, I think 
only one or two stones is enough. You don't have to have more. So let's see. It's start of not not yet, but I can feel it starts. It starts to get uh, what do you call it uh, grippier. So we shall see. Let's work with it a little while. Of course, this is going to take a longer time because you have to work more with it, of course. And why do I use tape? I uh, used tape last time. That's the reason why I, I use tape. Uh, if you don't have tape when you hone, you don't have to have tape if you do this refre uh, refreshing thing. And you don't have to kill the edge. I do it just to show you, see if it's possible to do. I don't know how long this will take, but I hope it goes rather fast. I'm just doing these half strokes. I just want to do these half strokes as many as possible, as fast as possible. Check again. Yeah, start, as you can see, it starts cut some places. So it's actually happening something here. <laughs> just a little, little bit more water and develop a new a little bit more slurry <clears throat> because when you start with the slurry it's stone particles that's uh, on the it's the slurry is building building up small stone particles and when you hone these particles get finer and finer and finer so there is less honing action if you or polishing action <laughs> It gets finer and finer and finer. It's like a finer grit sandpaper. So uh, now we build up a new slurry. Just have a little bit thicker. There's something on the table that sounds like that. You put it away. So maybe it's quieter now. <laughs> yeah, of course, if you have a bigger G knot, it goes much faster but i don't have so big you know this is perfect size in my opinion at least it works really great for me i just do some x strokes i took a sip on a beer of course this takes much much more longer as you saw in the last video, when I used the 8000 grit stone, after that I go to this G knot. It takes not so long, it doesn't take so long time before it's ready. So, this of course takes longer time, but it's possible. We shall see. I know it's possible, but with the other uh, G knot I got. I hope it's possible with this stone too. I think so at least, should, should be. If there's any ships on, ship, sorry, not ships, uh, any ship on the edge or it's cracked or something else, you can't correct it with this. Yeah, then you have to work with it a couple of days maybe. <laughs> Just gonna try it on the tomato one more time here. I start to cut as you see, easier and easier every time. <clears throat> so let's work with it a little bit more. I do these half strokes. You can do circles things uh, like this. It doesn't matter. You can do different kind of small circles. You can do these half strokes. You can do X strokes more like this. There is a lot of different kind of strokes you can do. I often finish with these kind of strokes. <clears throat> is it ver vertical strokes? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, I don't I have no clue what these kind of strokes, <laughs> but I do it sometimes. Sometimes. It's fun to try different strokes. Only doing neck strokes is not fun. Only doing half strokes is not fun. Half strokes goes faster because you one 
you got one stroke there, one stroke back. The same thing on the other side, one stroke goes twice as fast as then this stroke, X stroke does. <clears throat> I can feel it's grabbing really nice. It's something you can't explain, you have to actually hold to feel it. I'm just gonna take away the slurry like that. Clean this blade off. Try it one more in the tomato, see if if it's got better, it's getting better and better for each, as you can see, much, much, much more easier. So I'm going to do and build up a newsletter with this one more time. <clears throat> this is maybe not so fun to see, but as I told you, is it possible? I think it's possible. We shall see. If you don't kill that edge like I did, you probably don't have to work as much as I do. But this is just to show you that if, the, if there is an edge before you start, uh, it's possible to get uh, a new edge with the, uh, this slurry stone and this G knot. I often don't count these strokes because somehow I feel it in my arms when I don't tie the strokes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is not fun to watch. I know, I do apologize. <laughs> this will be a fun video if you want. Cannot <coughs> have done this. Honing videos and telling cracking jokes and everything. I, I think it's really fun to watch it. So if you want to learn honing, you want, then you can have me as a, a steady follower, as I'm already, am I, as I'm already, is, or oh, whatever. You, sorry. And now these more. Steeper X strokes like this. Then I often do these very strange strokes. And I don't use pressure. Of course, I have to use some pressure when I hold, because if I don't use pressure, this razor would just glide over the on the surface. But there is not much pressure, you just hold it over the uh, stone and <clears throat> so it lay, lays flat over the stone. It's a different thing when you hone with uh, 5000 grit stone or other stones, you can actually use pressure from the beginning. I think we're finished, I think we're there. I don't know how many minutes this took, I can't look at the... At the at the uh, clock either, because it's upside down here. <laughs> but let's uh, let's check on the tomato and see if it works, and let's see if it pops on her on my arm. I hope so at least. Just feeling it. this is really actually really. Not for you, but I can I actually feel where it hits the stone, how it feels. If it's pulling, the stone is pulling the razor. You can actually feel it. Even these strokes, I can feel it. Yeah, let's try on the tomato to see what happens. Just wiping it off. No places to cut anymore. As you see, it just cuts very easily. Oh, you can see it at least. Oh, oh it's just the phone here. Battery low. Okay, that's cutting very nice. If it's cutting any hair, I shall try. Hope you can see it here. 
Oh, it seems to be cutting hair, popping some hair. I don't know if you can see it. So let's try and see if this works. I don't know. We shall see. Hello again. Uh, now we're gonna try this razor and see if it works. I have whipped up the black also spirit soap. This one in the bowl. I like this end very much actually, really nice. I have two days ago. I think it's a little bit too. to dry. Just add a little bit more water. And the razor I'm gonna use of course is the razor that I honed up. Do that you not. And the brush is Peregrino brush. Give for more and above and really nice soft as hell this not <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to speed up this shave a little bit maybe that I don't speed it up I'm gonna cut it a bit some parts so let's start this is the this is the SKS tuna razor that I honed up on that G-knot I only use that stone no other stones so we shall see if it works to so only use one stone to refresh the edge on the razor I can tell you, you can't do it if you have a razor you bought from that is really dull. Then you don't do refresh, you do honing. And do your a proper honing. White stones, white professions and so on. But if you have a razor that starts to get dull or you have tried to paste it and it doesn't work and you maybe want to refresh that edge. You don't have to have three, four stones. You don't have to set the bevel. You don't have to fix issues with the razor. You just want to get that edge shave it again. I think it's possible to do with one stone. You have to work a little bit with the stone, of course, but still you manage to get the shave of edge at least. I'll be back when I have ladder up. I'll start in the second. Yeah, and we're back. Seems to be cutting against the wind too. So far, it, so far, it feels nice. Yeah, I forgot. I should pour up a whiskey. I'm gonna do it on the next pass because we're free from work tomorrow. And that's great. Last time I shaved, I didn't feel it, but after I uh, uploaded a video, I could feel that there was something that doesn't was right. <laughs> and this is the ingrowth I have. It's healing really nice. So two days more, and you won't see it. Yeah, I'm gonna pour up a whiskey, uh, do the third pass, and uh, take a hot sun after this. I'll be back. Yeah, we're back. 
really nice whiskey or bag or big highly whiskey really smoky really tasty really nice <laughs> so I can put it away it comes in this beautiful box and all that box we got this box even more prettier <laughs> so uh, it's a nice whiskey it looks like this not so much color to it but really much taste and scent to it fucking freaking awesome whiskey in my opinion a lot of smoky scent you can really hear it here feel it when you're drinking it still not so smoky you can't drink it but it's really smoky and nice and good taste to it too now back to this razor in my opinion no issues for so long I think you can own up a razor or rather touch up a razor with one stone. Oh, feels really great, really, really great. And this ladder is still, still too. Uh, you call it dry. Did I cut myself there? Felt something? I don't know. We shall see tomorrow. There's some small issues with this blade. I cut off or something there. Maybe not issues, but I do apologize for these long videos. <coughs> not issue with the blade, is that part. There are some pitting on it, not the cleanest of them all. A little bit of pitting on it, as you can see there. And it's very difficult to see this SSO Eskestuna says there. It's really, really difficult to see that. Uh, but it says that SSO Eskestuna. And these scores must have been broken sometimes. Someone had tried to fix them, but because there is a crack straight over the pin here, and there is some glue on the inside, so some issues is, is with this blade or this razor, but it works. It works really great. And now I'm not gonna use any ball aftershave. I'm gonna cut up some something I don't know what. I'm gonna take a hot sauna off and enjoy this evening. See you next time. Sorry for these long videos. Have a great, great uh, week. We shall see you next time. Bye bye.